Hi, I'm Bob Dan from SampleLibraryReview.com, and I'm very excited. Today, we're going to take a look at the Diamond Symphony Orchestra by Kirk Hunter. And the reason we're doing this uh, checking out video today is because VST Buzz has the Diamond Symphony Orchestra by Kurt Hunter on sale. It's 78% off, uh, €99.99. Originally retailing at uh, over 500 euros. So I got the library. Let's get a little backstory real quick before we dig in too far. This library, from what my Google search has determined, is about six years old at least. Now it may have been developed and added on since then, uh, but for a library developed at that time for full orchestra, I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the features and the scripting and that part. Now let's jump to one of the big cons right away. I'll tell you what, not a pleasant experience. You are warned when you buy the library that it is 100 zip files you have to individually download. And I'll tell you what, it's a long process. It took me about two days of jumping back and forth uh, to download each of the zip files. I highly recommend a download manager extension in your browser or something like that, just so you can set them all the download links in that and let it handle it for you. Unnecessarily long time to be downloading, no uh, download manager. So that's a big con there. Let's move on and talk a little bit about the sound of the library. Kirk Hunter developed a, a, a pocket of pretty passionate fans. Uh, reading through some uh, forum and blog posts, I was reading about what they liked and enjoyed about the libraries. And uh, for when the library was first released, I completely see why. The innovations in legato instruments, scripted legato, using the interval live. Gives you some really nice subtle transitions it's pretty realistic and you can almost get to a portamento sound now some instruments react a little better than others Another big cutting edge thing for uh, the library at the time it was released was the DeVisi options. And I can't say enough about how the ability to just quickly switch between some very realistic sounding uh, full section, half section, quarter and solo instruments right in one interface. I'm going to have to say my evaluation is that, uh, you know, this this library has so many different sized ensembles, but really just digging into the diamond sets alone and listening to the demos, I think that this does produce kind of a pretty realistic sound, but it's a very, uh, I hate to say, almost 80s score sound. For some reason, that's what it kind of stands out for me. Although the big part of the library that stands out in a different way is the strings, which are very live and I believe very relevant. The instruments come with a pretty extended set of articulations. It's a great system with different kinds of legato, front accents on notes, adagio, some shorts, tremolos, trills. 
is I would have loved to have seen some key switch uh, highlights, some colored keys dividing out where my articulations were and where my divisions were. Uh, instead of me having to hunt and pack around, it's a little easier when you see your starting point. Also got available controls for uh, short notes for tightening. Now, just playing through, I found some really strange artifacts kind of happening with the solo oboe. If anybody else is experiencing those, please let me know if that's not just my uh, particular setup for some reason. kind of pleasantly surprised by the bassoon sound overall. Pretty lyrical. Now, if there's one thing I usually harp on, it's the reverb included with contact instruments. Most of the time, I don't really dig the quality of it. Uh, the sh reverb, uh, really, the trumpets really show off the reverb on this instrument. And in this case, with the early Reflection 5 settings, I can see how you could get away with using this reverb because uh, it really helps the instrument um, kind of come to life. Another big plus here for the instrument, you have separate NKIs for brass mutes. As well as some of the woodwind rips. And the mod wheel controls the vibrato. It's got some settings here. You can change it to control vibrato and velocity or just separate them out. It's also got a vibrato live setting, which has a ton of extra parameters here. Overall, the instrument gives you quite a bit of controls. Um, one thing that's kind of cool is this human pitch correction control lets you slowly ease up into the note the way a natural player would if you're looking for more of a human feel. And all the diamond instruments also have a pattern function. Overall, that's pretty nice. I just wish there was a way to uh, save and load different patterns so you could quickly get um, all of your instruments playing the same kind of patterns. 78% off for, you got by nine more days. Normally, the collection sells for $499.99. Um, if you're looking for a complete orchestra um, on a budget, this is highly recommended. Have yet to see anything lower than a hundred euro that gives you this many instruments, this many articulations, and some really well thought out scripting. Uh, all in a very uh, decent sound. Uh, some of it um, really shines, others of it uh, needs a little bit of polishing. Good library to blend, uh, good library for sketching because the footprint isn't that big. It's kind of nice that uh, in addition to the diamond instruments, you get all of those other sizes of ensembles, different rooms. There's a whole lot more to this library, so uh, check the link in the description below. I'll be sure to include all the demos, walkthrough videos, anybody else's reviews I find, uh, just so you can make sure you know if this is the right instrument for you. Let me tell you a little story here about a composer who had a crappy website. He got his demo reel into somebody's hands and they loved it. Went to check out his website and 
he didn't get the gig. Guess what? You don't have to be that guy. Uh, I've tried out just about every web development platform there is out there, uh, and I highly recommend Weebly. It's a simple drag and drop. In a very little time, you can have a great, clean, responsive website, either to host your demo reels, videos, or even set it up to sell digital goods. Head over to samplelibraryreview.com forward slash Weebly link and get signed up for free to start building today.